Hello everybody, this is a Lamley preview. I don't know if I've done a Kaido House preview before, so if I'm gonna do one, let's go ahead and go big. And that is what I am doing. I have today for you the brand new Kaido House Chevy Silverado Black Limited. Black Limited, if you're not familiar, is the Kaido House series, the Super Limited series. It's available only at KaidoHouse.com, the Kaido House store. They're done in limited drops. This particular one, the Chevy Silverado, is this Saturday at KaidoHouse.com, 5 p.m. Pacific. That's November 18th. And if you're interested in it after I show it to you, you're going to want to be there right at 5 because this will sell out instantaneously. They all do. Black Limiteds always do. And then when you mix in a casting that has already kind of set the Kaido House collector world on fire, this one's going to be popular. There's another way to get it. I guess he's got, um, Kaido House will make available to uh, Kaido House Garage subscribers on Instagram, an early purchase window. I don't know the full details there, but you go to Kaido House Garage and get those details if you want to. But 150 available, 5 p.m. Pacific on Saturday. Those are the details. You definitely want those if you're interested. Chevy Silverado, brand new casting. If you're not familiar with it, that's okay because I have them for you today. This is the first issue of the Kaido House Chevy Silverado. Just came out, available at Hobby Dealers that carry Kaido House. I got mine at J-Card Diecast. We'll show that off just real quickly. I've got the limited edition that was available at a pop-up at the Hot Wheels convention. That one's cool. It's a variant of this color, but a kind of a cool variant. And I even have an upcoming version that, I can, that we're going to rip open and check out as well. This will come out in the coming weeks, the next uh, color or next design of the Chevy Silverado. Of course, the main event will be opening the Black Limited. Kaido House, that's Junamai. Junamai used to be at Hot Wheels, made several iconic, well, multiple, many, many iconic castings at Hot Wheels, then went out on his own, formed Kaido House, partnered with Mini GT. So he designs these, builds them from the ground up, designs the graphics as well. All of the Kaido House castings, Mini GT has the capabilities of building them and creating them, uh, producing them. That's what they do. Hence the partnership. It's been uh, fruitful to say the least. We've gotten some great, great castings from this partnership, from the Kaido House brand. And the Silverado is the next one. Kind of cool because it's a continuation of June's vision of his aesthetic. Um, June was creating all kinds of cool, like a lot of people call him the godfather of JDM at Hot Wheels. You can think about the Datsun 510 Wagon, the 510 Coupe, the Skylines. I mean, you name it. A lot of the Japanese castings were made by June, kind of ushered in that JDM era. I definitely cut Lamley's teeth on a lot of those castings as well. And he's since taken that aesthetic and moved it over. So I just showed you the, 510, uh, the 510 Coupe and the 510 Wagon. Well, if you're not familiar with the Kaido House versions, they're basically those cars on steroids. The details where June is basically given a blank canvas, creating the aesthetic he wants, created a Pro Street 510, and then this just slammed low wide 510 wagon. All of those designs that you see hinted at in the Hot Wheels, but this time done exactly how June wants it. There's other little details in these castings as well. It's amazing. like these deep barrels that are actually alloy barrels, the stretch tire look. I mean, they're just amazing castings and they've created quite a following. And I'm sure that many of you who are watching this are already part of that uh, fan group, we'll call it. I myself am one as well. I have a, quite a few Kaido House castings. And for the first time, we're doing Kaido House in the Lamley Awards this year, which I'm very, very excited. Silverado. Well, I mentioned that uh, June is considered the kind of the godfather of JDM at Hot Wheels, but he was responsible for a ton of other castings as well. And in fact, one of his most popular castings was this, the 83 Chevy Silverado. We've seen so many square bodies in the 164 world. This is one of the originals. Matchbox did a step side. This is June's lowered Silverado. And like the 510, look at the 510 Hot Wheels and then, and then look at the Kaido House. Well, this is the one that June designed. This is actually the first edition for the Modern Classics line back in 2008. You can see it's slammed. Bumper is gone on the back. You can see these elements of like the, the bed catering to the, uh, to the uh, height of the truck. It's a really, really cool casting. It remains one of Hot Wheels' most popular. So I show you that 
And now I show you this. And that same kind of like what June started at Hot Wheels, he's finishing here at Kaido House. I don't know if that's how June looks at it, but I know that that Silverado casting is near and dear to his heart. And now he's created something even more along the lines of that Kaido House June Amai aesthetic. Slammed Silverado with elements of, you know, the classic American truck, but then even some Japanese elements, other design elements as well. When you talk to June about this casting, one of the things that he'll say is like, yes, he didn't want, he, it's a blank canvas. He really just wanted to go to town, build the casting that he wanted. And he said, if you were to, as he built this, as he imagined this, even in the chassis, he wanted to create this like it would be a full scale, real Silverado and how he would build it from like the fuel cell to how, the, uh, to how it would have been modified to cater to the ride height everything else if you look at it you can see some of these elements he says some of those elements will disappear as the casting is developed and shrunk down but ultimately that's how he built it from scratch and what you get is a ton of detail that you don't normally see in 164. also just really well made and that's a testament to mini gt and what their capabilities are look at the engine in here I like how the hood opens and closes. It's super, super clean. You don't get that feeling like you're either going to be ripping something up or, you know, it's not going to close right. Mirrors on here are done in kind of a soft rubber, which is a mini GT thing too, so they don't break as easily. Anyway, lots and lots of details. That is the original, or I guess we'll call this one the original red version of the Silverado. Little special version. Kaido House introduced this limited edition. These are like five or 600 made. He did two, he did one that same weekend, one at the Hot Wheels convention and a pop-up sold out very, very quickly. And then the JCCS wagon. I was able to get my hands thanks to, I was, I was so busy at the convention, I wasn't able to go to the pop-up, but uh, my friend Texas Elite Collectibles on Instagram had a couple that he was able to buy, had an extra, and I was able to purchase it from him. Same design, Black Limited is this design as well, actually, only done in a color changing limited edition check this thing out i don't know how to look i don't i haven't done the turntable shot yet but i'll do it but as i kind of move this around you can see it changes from green to brown and then you add the gold rims the deep barrels on here and this thing's just i don't know it's just so cool i just love moving around. it even does it even does more in the sunlight but this is doing pretty well notice it just slowly goes from green to brown as you rotate it. Just a super, super cool casting. Put that right there so you can see both of them. They look good. Like I just, you know, I'll do a full, you know, as we do the Lamley Awards, we're doing the Kaido House poll this year, um, or I'm sorry, a tournament. We're going to bring out a lot of Kaido House castings. We can talk more about the design, but it's like between the weight of the cars, the way they roll, the way they sit. I mean, one of the fun things to do is just listen to the wheel, the way the wheels roll. I'm getting long winded and I'm going to make this video too long. And so I'm going to start cutting. I'm probably gonna to have to edit out some of the things I say, but nonetheless, this is a casting that I really like. This is a brand that I really like. Let's move these out out of the way. So before we get to the black limited, let's talk about another upcoming. So next color. I, as much as I love the design of the first issue, the colors and this kind of 70s aesthetic of this one might even top it. So let's get this one cut open. This was sent to me by uh, the folks at Mini GT. And I told uh, June that we had, and he said, open it up, take a look. So let's go ahead and do it. I think we've got the I'll show you the box. They always come in these really nice cardboard boxes as well. The colors on here just scream the era. There it is. Let's get this one open. I don't know if there's anything else to show you on the box. Okay, the first thing that pops, I mean, the colors really pop. 
But the first thing I notice are these wheels. I, I'd have to ask June, but obviously this looks like a take, like June's take, a deep, like a deep dish version of the hubcap, the dog dish hubcap wheel that we associate, I associate with these classic Chevy square bodies. And I think that is just so cool. It's just an amazing, beautiful wheel. I love the colors, but I think I'm just enamored with this wheel more than anything. Here's the base. It's got that purple hint that all of the bases, all of the chassis on the Kaido House trucks have. You have the zero kind of showing up in the chassis. Zero on the back. Kaido House as well. You notice the, that same aesthetic from the old Hot Wheels, or not even aesthetic, but the same way the, uh, a few more details right in the new one, in the Kaido House version. There's the engine. What I like about this one too is now you have the classic Chevrolet logo on the windshield and Heartbeat of America. I think a good old Bob Seeger there on the back, on the back window. So you're getting those elements of like the classic Chevy truck design is, you know, is its own design. But I love this, uh, orange, yellow, red, over white with the dark black rims and the dog dish hubs or a version of the dog dish hubs. Those wheels are incredible. Should I just stop talking about it? Love this. Love, love, love it. That is coming soon. Like I said, I get my, I got mine at J car. There's other places you can get them, but let's talk about this black limited. I think in order to give myself space, we're gonna move this out of the way. Try not to drop it. Black Limited, like I said, limit, there's going to be, if you buy this, this is a preview model that uh, Kaido House sent. So normally there'd be a hologram here with the individual number. These are individual numbers on the box. They're wrapped uh, in plastic. Here's some of the details from the box. Obviously licensed by GM. These things are cool. If you want to get some of the previous Black Limiteds, I guess you could go to eBay and you'll see what the prices are on those. <laughs> you, you'll have to think through which ones you want to uh, pony up for. But these are really, really cool. They haven't always been black either, but most of the time they are. He's, June has shown this model on Instagram, so we know what we're going to get, but now we get to see it in person. And I've been good about keeping this thing sealed. So here we go. I'm just so excited to check this thing out. All right. I have said in the past, I'm a sucker for white cars with gold rims. That applies to black cars with gold rims as well. And that is the first thing I noticed. This thing is clean. Holy cow. Check this out. For reference, let's pull out that uh, red version is again. There's the red version. All the designs are there except there's nothing two-tone about this. It's all black. All black. I don't know. The, stri the stripe is gone. They obviously, the, uh, the same design elements are there, but... It is all black. Gold, the gold uh, twin turbo logo there below, that thing really pops, obviously matches the rims. Tires look incredible, rims look incredible. Black interior over the, with the black body on top. Mirrors stand out in silver. This thing, you know, it's, 
we are collectors. We know what we like. We know that, I mean, the reason we go after super treasure hunts is because they're rare. The minute they're not rare, there will be a few that we'd go after, but it's all about the rarity. Obviously, that's, that's going to elevate the price of these, the rarity of these models. But when you take the design that June has created for these, and then it's not just, there are chase models for this. In fact, there's a chase model for this car and it's raw and it's cool. I don't have it. But when you look at what June has done, instead of just making a chase, removing the paint, maybe changing the wheels or something, this is, this is a special, like what, like there's thought put into this. It's not just a, a slight change or removal or anything. There's like, this is a special model made exclusively, you know, for this special limited black limited series. And you can tell, and it's awesome. And I just, that's what I love about this. It's very hard. There are collectors out there that have all the black limiteds, and I think that's fantastic. I think it's hard for a lot of people to have all of them. But I think the cool thing is you're not just trying to snag something because it's rare. You're getting something special. And I will, uh, I'll give the Kaido House team a lot of credit for that because this thing is so cool in black. You guys tell me what you think. This, if you want it, you better be ready. That's, uh, here, I'll put this back on its box here. September, or I'm sorry, November 18th, Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Do the math if you need to, if you're not in the Pacific time zone, because if you're not there at five o'clock, you're not getting this. And I hope that you can get it. This truck is cool. I don't know, I, you know, I've really liked a lot of the castings that Kaido House has done, but I just don't see this being topped. I'll have the R33 to showcase soon. I think the NSX soon after that. I don't know how this gets topped. I'm just so enamored with this casting and the first, first few designs, fantastic. Thank you, Kite House, for letting me preview this. Good luck, everyone, on Saturday. You guys tell me what you think. Bye.